5-0 on the floor. Back to the uneven bars and our first look at Rebecca Wilson, one of the most experienced competitors of the Australian team, and this is her specialty event. She's opening with pirouette work, one and a half pirouette. Oh, clips her feet on the low bar twice there. She manages to still stay on, but picks up an extra swing after that Jaeger Salto. So big deduction there. Front giant half turn. Nice, cleaned Kachev. Counter swing to the low bar. Wilson's got such lovely clean lines on bars. And finishing with a double front, sticks it beautifully. That's a shame about the first half of the routine. Well, uncharacteristic mistakes there from Wilson. As we said, it is her specialty event. Yes. And really, normally very, very consistent. Yes, this one and a half pirouette's quite difficult to judge because if you get too much speed, it's very hard to control. And although we can't see it from that angle, she did clip her feet on the low bar. There's that Tkachev, takes it back to counter swing, up to handstand on the low bar. Picks up a point one bonus for that. And here we see her swinging forward swing, nice extension over the low bar, kicks it well above the height of the high bar and perfect landing. Well, one major error and it's proved costly for Rebecca Wilson and 8.350. Now Jamie Nashley on the horizontal bar. This is one of his specialty events, his favourite piece of apparatus. 14th all round in this year's American National Championships. And he opens with some quite tricky combination work there. Winding up for a release here. Kachev, Kachev again, straight into a ginger. Nice combinations. Coach is standing by, but doesn't need to do anything to help him at all. Nice, crisp routine to here. And finishing with a double layout, full twist. Confident routine. And there's very nice work from Jamie Natalie there. The crowd like it as well. Here we see him winding up, straddled Kachev. Second straddle to Kachev and straight into his ginger. Judges it well. Men, of course, can perform the same element twice without deduction. The women are not able to do that. The rules being slightly different for each. There's the L grip giant, hops out of it to top grip now. Winds up for the dismount, kicks it up nice and high. Slightly piked in the hips during that uh, twist. But nevertheless, a good position. And good routine for Natalie, an 8.750. And now his teammate, Jim Foodie. Foodie at 23 is the veteran of this US team. He's just graduated from UCLA, majoring in political science, but managing also to keep up an international gymnastics career. Yes, he just missed out on being on the world championship team. He was first reserve. Here we go, his ginger. One arm giant. Stoops in and out. That's a stoop endo circle. Quite popular these days because it can lead to other elements to build those important combinations. Double out, full twist, just like his teammate. A little bit low, but a smooth enough routine. Yes, well, that's experience for you. The high bar, of course, one of the most spectacular events, and this is why. A bit close on that release. Manages to hide it. There's that one arm giant. And these days, the most popular dismount being the double layout with either full or double twist seems to be almost a compulsory element. Well, consistent work from the U.S. men's team on the high bar, an 8.7 for Foodie. And now Philippe Rizzo, representing Australia on the rings. At 16, along with Justin Ning, he's the youngest member of this Australian side. Rings is a very difficult event for young men. They need to build quite a lot of muscle bulk to be successful on this apparatus. Rizzo having shown huge improvements over the last year.
small swing built up. He's controlling it well. Has to time exactly when he wants to start the next element so that that swing doesn't build any more. So Rizzo gets through the routine. No major strength elements in that routine. And I'm sure that's going to come with more maturity. Yes, these young Australian competitors working pretty well here tonight. Coach Vladimir Vatkin looking on. And Rizzo picks up an 8.250 on the rings. And now Sharapov on the rings. He first came out to Australia in 1994 for the World Championships in Brisbane. He fell in love with this country, and that's why he's back here now in the Australian colours. Opens with a swing to handstand. Forward giant through to inverted cross. That's difficult to do. Another one. Have to hold for two seconds and the shoulders have to be level with the rings. Doesn't hold his strength element there quite long enough. Needs to be two full seconds. And dismounting with a triple back. Now we very, very rarely see the triple back off any apparatus anymore. And uh, Sharipov really is very good at that element. Yes, he really is a class above the rest of the field here in Adelaide. And here you can see that inverted cross. Now this element there, planch not held long enough, so he'll be severely penalized for that. He won't get the value of the element. There we see that triple back well landed very hard with the orientation and a score for Sharapov 8.5 I don't think he'll be particularly happy with that but it does help the Australian standings after the third rotation the USA still leads 78 points to Australia's 74.59 and the women again the USA in front 55.05 and the Australians falling off the pace a little bit here 53.60 The Americans move to the floor and Freddie Umali. He was out for most of 1996 with a torn Achilles tendon, so if anywhere any apparatus is going to show a weakness, it probably will be here on the floor. Umali opens with a front full twist, followed by a front layout. It's almost compulsory these days that these men open with these twisting passes, but they're worth so much in bonus points. One and a half twist forwards. And that's very difficult element there. One circle around. Both legs together. Becoming more and more popular with the men these days. Wide arm pressed to hands and we can see that bandage on his foot that must have been there to protect from that Achilles injury. He's really choosing most of his elements coming from the forward twisting elements. And that's not surprising because when they punch from a backwards position, that puts quite a lot of pressure on the Achilles tendon. Whip, double twist, sticks it well. Not very high in the air, but he's obviously pleased with that effort. Yes, umali has been having pretty good competition so far tonight. Congratulations from his teammate and coaches. So here's the handspring, one and a half twist forwards. Nice extension, that half turn little connecting element. And here are these circles. Legs together. Has to be careful not to scrape his feet on the floor. And another one and a half twist forwards. And the score for Umali, 8.550. And that 